Hello, hello everyone, the stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? Let me turn that down a little bit. Oh wow, there's a lot of you here already. Hi, Ox. Okay. I'm very pumped today, honestly. I just finished recording some Dead Rising 2 gameplay uh, about an hour ago, so we're actually going to have some Dead Rising stuff this weekend, which is going to be really nice. I uh, We were on a week hiatus because uh, Han was moving IRL, and now that uh, they're starting to settle into their place, we're able to record again, and it's very fun. Yeah, more Supermarket Simulator. So, when we left off, we had about six or seven thousand uh, dollars. I've been grinding off screen, and we have uh, twenty six thousand now. So we have the money to do whatever the hell we want now. It's time for us to expand the store and do cool things. Who wants to do cool things? I do. We're all stocked up everywhere. I'll stock it back here. I was complaining. Uh, I was complaining today to Han. The um, if you look at the size, Urgh. bro, damn it! If you look at the size of the coffee versus the size of the pasta, or the size of the. Bro, thank you. Or the size of the flower. Like, if this box was ever so slightly bigger, this would absolutely fit in it. Without question. So, I don't think it makes any sense, the fact that you're able, only able to put 16 in here, when you can put 72 of the coffee in one spot. I only have 40. Am I doing my math wrong? That was 72. No, 48. You can fit 48 coffee in uh, one section versus only 16 of the flour or penne, which is really annoying. Like, it makes sense that the bread you can only fit so much in. But the penne? No, the penne's much smaller than the bread. I was complaining earlier about that, but... Uh, that's where I'm at mainly right now. I've been fighting with my uh, stalkers a whole ton. My uh, restock people. They... Uh, I've started to notice like problems with the AI now that I've played this game a whole bunch. Where like I will end up with... Do I have it here? Um, doesn't look like it. So I will end up with multiple part boxes stored in the same spot. So I'll have like a box of 11 and a box of 5 here. And it'll only be holding 16, but there'll be two boxes here. Because one stalker has grabbed it and then filled it up. Uh, and then another stalker has grabbed something from outside and filled up what was left out here to fill up. And then brought it over here and then put two part boxes to get beside each other. And that's been happening constantly, so I fired one of the stalkers so that I could actually have space to do shit. Without them fucking everything up. I've started just chucking... I check boxes out the front as well, because I want the stalkers to focus on doing that, rather than, like, throwing, throwing that stuff out rather than me. Because they're way more likely to fuck something up than I am. At least I can assure that when I do something, it's being done right. Or at least a lot more right than they're going to do it. Yeah, so that's, that's my main gripe with this game right now. That and the fact that it pauses every time you alt-tab. Which is really fucking annoying as a streamer. Besides that, though, like, I, I do love this game, not, don't want to give the wrong impression. I'm very much enjoying playing this game, and I 
have played a lot of this game, as you can probably tell lately. But, uh... It, it, there, there's definitely some things about it that could be refined. And I look forward to future versions, seeing as this is just an early access title anyways. And that also isn't me saying that uh, the early access title should be, like, perfectly refined or anything. Like, I know it's an early access title. I, I have no illusions of that. But uh, these, are, these are my main gripes with the game right now. And... Uh, it just it's just a direction for them to work on. Not that they'll know unless I send some feedback in, but I am intending to do that when I can. I also we had uh, flower in three different spots before. Uh, each flower had three different spots, and now it's down to two because the, because the stalkers kept fucking that up as well. They just put part boxes on both sides. So I'd had I've had I would have up to three out of four of these boxes would be part boxes, and I'm just like, why? Oh my gosh. The pug seems displeased for some reason. She's doing a big heckin' borf. Yeah, but once this day finishes, we are going to, uh, we're going to work on some changes. As you can tell, though, I'm bringing in a lot of money per day now, so it's gonna be pretty reasonable for me to upgrade stuff. Why is everyone complaining about water? I don't get it, because, like... It's 31 cents over. I have stuff that is up to 50 cents over. But for some reason, the water is what they complain about the most. I don't know why. Incessant beeping. It never goes away. It's endless. I'll restock tomorrow. I don't actually intend to buy anything today, just because I want to move things around and reorganize the store now. Since we're all together, and we can do that now. Well, I've been grinding money. Any other part boxes? Elbows? Elbows. Human elbows. Oh, there, there's a bit of feedback that uh, I've been meaning to give them, actually, for the game, that I think would be amazing, is when they're carrying a box around of something that uh, they're going to stock, I wish you could see above their head, like, a little icon of what item that they're working on, because you can see if you, like, jump, like, bounce in place, what item is in the box that they're doing, but... Besides that, it'd be nice if you could just, like, see a little icon so you know for sure what, uh, what they're doing. It would just make it easier to manage them. Okay. Okay, olive oil and salt. Yep, that's fine. Well, actually, since they've been complaining a lot more, I'll start to go a bit closer to the prices. Uh, 
I don't really want to deal with too many small numbers, but... Went through all these recently, so they should be fine. Okay, it's time for us to actually expand this door, though, now. Because that is what I have been waiting to do. So, growth. We have the money to grow the store a bit. Why section 5? What's section 5? Oh, that's section 5. Okay. What is section 6? Yeah, that's section 6. And section 7. Okay, so just the same thing, but bigger. I can work with that. But I want to expand this further, because I can still do... I can do section 8 as well now. Hmm... I don't really... I don't need it to be bigger, really. Not, not that much bigger, at least. I can work on something else instead. There we go. We can move things around now. Very hard to arrange these. Please. Come on. Hmm. This is unfortunate. How much space do I have? Ugh. Not. Okay, this must be able to be moved over or something. I don't know if that would be enough. Did I get any space? But I only need a little bit. Yeah, I did gain a little bit of space doing that. I might, might be able to put this in place now. Uh, this drives me crazy. Like, I know there's enough space, technically, but it's very hard to reach it. need every single pixel I can get.
then probably is as close as I can manage it at this point. I hate to say it, but I think it's genuinely one pixel off. I hate the system. I genuinely do. Very frustrating. Maybe, maybe this is the way I should do it. Maybe what I should do is I should send the pupper out. Yeah, it looks like she's not going to behave for this dream. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, she does hate the system. I have accidentally rewarded her for her barking recently, and that has destroyed me. Let's see. Can I get any more space from any of this stuff? Don't think so. No, I don't think there's much of anything I can do. It was an accident. I didn't mean to reward her barking. Ah, uh, this is an awful, awful system. Okay, how can I do this that won't make me want to die? I always forget how awful it is trying to actually place things. Game. Can I use my... Okay, I tech... Okay, I can... I can do that, but not what I want to do. I think that's as much space as I can get. Hopefully, going from this side and heading left will work better than doing it the opposite way. Oh, not yet. Let's try now. Nope. I'm just gonna keep going until I eventually can fit everything, because theoretically everything should fit. There's no reason for it not to. Like, this should be mathematically large enough to fit everything.
there. Math in my supermarket simulator? Uh, the, the math education that I had was hor horrible, and I don't really like math because of how bad that was. But I feel like I could actually be good with it and learn to enjoy it if I actually like spent time on my own to teach myself properly. And I like programming. Theoretically, I should like logic, too. I like logic, I shouldn't be too far away from liking math. Oh. Oh. Okay, we can do this. I, I saw the green. That means it's possible. Holy shit, we did it. Oh boy. That was a pain. And I'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And all the space we get. think. Need all the space we can get? Because I could actually start putting fridges on the back wall. That wouldn't be so bad. And then I could put some of these shelves in the middle. Back to back. I could also put fridges back to back. I'm trying to think what's like the least hellish solution. Because the fridges are a bit easier to, to place. I'm in the way. I know why they let the player character be in the way, but it's annoying. Okay, let's try covering the back wall in fridges. Also, we need more double fridges because the single fridges are actually slightly bigger than... Two single fridges are slightly bigger than, than one double fridge. And when I say slightly, I mean like three pixels. And you might not think that matters, but it does actually matter in, like, some very specific circumstances, which is unfortunate. Um... I 
don't know which one of these is the right color. That's blue. I think it's this one. Let's see. I think they're the same. I mean, you only really see the color for, like, the top and the sides and the back. Oh, wait. Okay, okay well, now they have the color down. Um... What's this? Oh, it's a shelf. Okay. I'll try two for, to start with. I like designing things in this game, I do not get me wrong, but I really I need the snap two feature so badly. Or not the snap two feature, a snap two feature. Just to make placing things not feel awful. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of space for placing stuff. Oh no. Oh no. No, stop. Stop. Stop working. No, I don't want you working right now. Yeah, stop working. Oh, they drop what they're doing. You stop them. That's interesting. I will need to use that for whenever they have a box that they don't know what to do with. I can just force them to drop it. You can come to work, you can get paid, that's all fine. But, like, just chill out and watch. This is management's turn to work. Do I have... Okay, good, I have the different box I can use. Actually, why am I making this? This. Do this, and it'll make it much easier to transfer stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'd rather pay them to work than to watch me work, but... I mean... They need a consistent paycheck, and I need them a little bit later.
Okay, so got all that packed up. Eggs. Oh, wait. I should just move the eggs over. E eggs here for me. I have an interesting thought. If I box this up... Okay, so it preserves the label. Thing. I don't know when I'm going to need the small freezers. I'm going to do the big ones to start with. Just because they're kind of... I mean, they're a better size for me. Oh. Is this, is this the big box? The square one? Or I should say the square box, not the big box. It's not actually that big. You can only fit eight flour into it. Like, if they were bigger... This is the wrong type of eggs. I have the wrong type of eggs in there. What the fuck? That's weird. I don't know when that happened. Okay, well, I'll fix that. Any more of these. Okay. Pick out the tags now. now I'm going to put that there. I'm not going to actually put it together yet. First of all, I'm going to put some more double freezers in, or double, double fri fridges, double fridges. I originally got the single fridges because you can move them independently, but I didn't realize that there was that there was a size difference that actually would matter. Okay, next question. Can I is the size difference going to come into play right now? not, I can make use of this. Ooh, okay, that is a lot of fridge space. Over there for now. Okay, so, now that all of that's been dealt with, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new product slots. And I can add more shelving, too. So what do we have for licenses? No, I mean, we still have $14,000. 
Okay. Next one is all drinks. These probably are all going to be uh, refrigerated, so we'll see about this. Okay, so this one only takes half of a box or shelf. That's worth remembering. That's really awkward when there's five shelves. It's two and a half boxes rather than three boxes or two boxes. Okay, so I will put orange juice right there. Okay, soda. Actually, wait, I'll put you down there. Zap soda. Oh, is this uh, half and half as well? Yeah, it is. Okay. Then we have cola here. I can put it over there. Wait, no. What did I just do? It's supposed to be on the right. What am I? Whatever. I'm trying to put put. I'm trying to arrange them right and left based on what the how what they're in the fridge. Oh, more coke or turco? Okay, off off brand cola, I guess. Okay, what is this? Easy to place on a shelf. Okay, so the milk. Wait. This is shelf stable milk six packs. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I've ever encountered that in the real world. Okay, juice. Okay, so should I have another corner shelf over here, maybe? Hmm. So oh, it's so awkward putting... It's so awkward putting shelves anywhere in, in this game. <laughs> there's like... There just doesn't feel like there's a good spot no matter what you do. Wait, I was about to put a corner shelf here. Maybe that's not what I should be doing. Maybe I should be doing shelves in the middle? And then be doing freezers along the, this side there. Because I'm eventually going to need a lot of freezers. Though, freezers are smaller than shelves, which means it'd be easier to see over them. So it actually would be better to have shelves against the wall and freezers not against the wall. In that case. Man, two dollars to ship a large shelf? That sounds amazing. Wish, wish I had that in real life. Wish I had that in real life without abusing postal workers. Okay, so that gives me some space. I could put a single shelf in. I have the space for that. This is a double. Okay, well, how would a double look? Let's just dust this. Nope. Not, no, not at all. 
single. Give me a single. Unless I wanted to put a sh a shelf corner right there. That would look really weird. Hmm. I don't want to risk it. You know what? No, I, I don't mind risking it. It's $100 if I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> well, I guess, actually, I don't have to, like, get rid of it or anything yet. I'll just think about that. There we go. Hey, right, give me a single. If past is there. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move past it. Okay, I just realized that that's going to be kind of annoying. Just like when you have a hair on your face that you can't reach. I hate this. Eh. Tickly. Okay, so I want to move the pasta. I'm going to move the pasta. I'll do it this way. Now I want to grab some Bosmati. I'm gonna go there. Go here. Oh, if I get another type of rice, I can put it over here now. Getting some good progress done. Hi, Ron. Okay. I guess that's going there. Ish. Okay, so we still have two freezers or two fridge slots and two shelf slots left, even without having anything for the freezer specifically. Okay, what do we have for freezer options now? Because I want to have freezer two. Candy cereal, chocolate, yogurt. I don't know if the cakes are, like, refrigerated cakes or not.
eggs four pack, butter, cereal, chicken, french fries, pizza, potatoes. Okay, well, pizza and french fries are probably frozen. Chicken's probably refrigerated. Butter's probably refrigerated. And cereal and potato are probably not refrigerated. Okay, so this is actually perfect for me. I think it's two of each. Two fridge, two freezer, two play. Oh, no, we have three freezer. That's fine. Why did you stack it all in this tiny thing? This is it the butter. <laughs> this is the butter. Is this fridge or freezer? I can't remember. Already forgotten. Okay. Yeah, I've already I've completely forgotten already what uh, was supposed to go in. We have okay. Okay. Well, cereal can go over there with cereal. Pizza will go with the freezers, which will be in the middle-ish. Chicken will go in the freezer. Fries go in the freezer. Potatoes go on the shelf. Okay, oh yeah, there's only one fridge item. Forgot, okay. Okay, we're just gonna have an empty fridge area then. That's fine. Where do I want to put the potatoes? I guess I'll we'll put the tubers over here. Oh! Put the chicken on the shelf near next to a heater. Why? Are you just saying that because you think it's a bad idea? Or is there, like, are you actually trying to suggest something because you think it's a good idea? Because usually your suggestions are gremlin-filled intention. Filled with gremlin intentions, that's what I meant to say. Okay, yeah, it's not a good idea then. Got it. You only talk like that when you're giving me a bad suggestion. Okay. Bees! What are you going to tell me that it was a good, that it was a completely valid suggestion and that I'm just shaming you for no reason? Is that what you're going to tell me? Those are big potatoes. Oh, right, yeah, in here. Wait now. No, the people do not demand raw chicken. Okay. Well, I've put the refrigerate refrigerated stuff here. I put the shelf stuff here, so I guess I'm going to move some of this stuff around. Okay, small rack. Small rack. I will get some massive small racks. It's rotten. Whatever he says. I'm not really a fan of reality TV, so. Oh my gosh, though, though, speaking of reality TV, um... On rare occasion, I watch, um, Stephen Colbert, uh, 
I okay, no, that wrong wrong person. I do watch Stephen Colbert. Uh, but I was thinking of oh, what's his name? Um, why are words hard? I'm gonna glance at my YouTube description. No, his channel released a whole shit ton of stuff recently. Be easy to find. Last week tonight with John Oliver. Okay. So, he released a uh, episode of just some news thing that he was doing. And, uh... It was, like, some pretty heavy stuff. And I, uh... And as I imagine they were thinking, that's kind of... Can be a lot for people sometimes. And they... They mentioned a reality TV show in that particular news episode as, like, a way to, to, like, put a bit of humor into an otherwise kind of challenging scenario. And uh, the reality show that they were talking about was called Milf Manor. And, yes, you heard me right, Milf Manor. And... If you think that it sounds bad, don't worry. It does not it's not what it sounds like. It is dramatically worse than it sounds like. Like dramatically. Like that doesn't even begin to cover it. Um I just remember like the excerpt they show, it was just uh it's basically just the bachelor but a bunch of older women kind of fawning over a bunch of younger dudes and their fathers at the same time. And part of me, out of morbid curiosity, wants to watch it because I saw a few clips of it and it looks so horrifically uncomfortable and, like, just, just awful, awful TV. Like, the absolute trash of the TV world. And that... That that just drags the that that pulls on my curiosity strings because I love terrible terrible TV, um, well terrible movies specifically. Uh, that's probably not going to fall into that because I think that that's probably going to be way worse than anything that I've watched that I consider terrible. But ah, uh, just I just have a bit of morbid curiosity in me. Can you, like... Go over there, please. Because I do want to keep you still. There. Okay. I've effectively used my face to move it. That's not centered in the slightest. Anyways, the whole reason of bringing, bringing that up was just that it sounds, like, awful, like a lot of reality TV, but much, 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 much worse than average. Because, like, on average, they tr seem to try and cover up the fact that reality TV is kind of trash. It's just, like, none of it's real, all of it is scripted, and generally, the contestants don't know what they're doing that's being taken out of context to make one sort of to make whatever the story actually is like like the, the things that they that they do uh that like the producers do are not known to the contestants and like they can make a contestant look absolutely awful when like they're actually kind of a decent person just because it's good tv for them i mean reality tv people like they do try to give the impression that reality TV is real, and that it's not scripted. Like, it isn't scripted in the sense that you're hand, like, they hand people a script, but it is scripted in the sense that, like, they give people the direction, and if they don't follow it, they cause things to happen in the people's environments that will create stress for the people.
this the same size? Kind of. There. Slowly stacking things. Nope. Sure. That looks fine. You know, they do try to push the concept that reality TV is reality, and it's very much not. Okay. I want to have another shelf. Wait, no. Not that many. Okay. I assume there's not enough space here. Oh, there actually is enough space already. What? Oh, yeah, there is. You want me to, to flip the box? Okay, one second. Let me just fix this first so it's lined up properly. No, I, d I do agree with Ron. It doesn't look right. It's kind of a pain to have, leave it like that. Hey, can I please be able to place this? Come on. Let me. I guess I can have it come out a little bit. That's fine. Wait, can I put this on the shelf? No. Okay, so I'll just have to place it like that. Okay. Okay, I'll fix the box. There. Perfect. Okay, so what are we doing? Hmm, I should add some more chicken base. <laughs> Chicken is there per box. Oh, okay, so it's it's <laughs> Okay, we don't get much space for chicken. Got it. Okay. I like that ox. There. That's actually legitimately how I would prefer it. I'd like them to be all flipped like this so I can actually see what the thing is that's inside. But I know the rest of them are all the same thing. They're all the single freezers, so I will leave them like this for now just because I don't want to bother flipping them. But this is this actually does look good in my opinion. It's not, I'm not just trolling this time. 
Okay, so we need spot for potato. Uh, let's move this. Okay, so we need... We're letting a lot of stuff. Okay, we need four more boxes, five more boxes of honeybees. Five. Six. I think. I'll go with five to start with. And we need uh, at least two more chickens. Let's get a one of everything else for now. I'll worry about actually how much I need in a second. Okay. Corner. Rise. There. Now that goes over there. Okay. What do I not have sorted yet? Erko, I need that sorted in. The juices I didn't put, I didn't label properly yet. Okay, pizza needs a freezer. I don't have that yet. Did I put a spot for potatoes yet? No. Just gonna mark all this stuff down. They know where to put stuff. Cola. Butter. A lot of pats of butter. Did I forget to get the zap? Or is it in his pile? Oh, there's more honeybee in that pile. What if here isn't open? Ah. Okay, I think I have everything. Do I have milk in here somewhere? No. Okay. Time to reactivate our friend. And also hire his compatriot. There. So they get cleaning up outside. That's a good start. over there. Oh, I got too much. No, I didn't. I need stuff over there. Okay, is that everything? Yeah. Okay, now to actually stock. Now that I kind of have an idea what's going on.
Oh, right, Fryzar don't have a spot yet. Oh, chicken goes out there. Bullet has a spot. Bio juice can go in. Scarecrow can go in. Butter can go in. It's a very rough approach, but hopefully. Hopefully, I shouldn't be overbuying. Oh, well, I am overbuying on the frozen stuff because I don't actually have freezers yet. I guess I could have expected that. Okay, you go over there. I'll have a spot for you. Go there. I don't need extra room for this. Okay. So I just I need to get the freezers now. Furniture. Weezer. Okay, so I can do triple freezers. I don't actually need a triple freezer yet, but I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna match it to the floor. That's the most efficient way of doing this. It needs to go over there. That needs to go out. Or get packed. Perco goes in there. Goes in there. Zap goes in there. Okay. Oh, accident storage, you're full. R? Oh, because I don't have a spot for Zap right now, because I screwed that up. That goes there, right? No, this is different. Hmm. Okay, I need Zap then. Put Zap up there now. And that means the other guy will come in and put his stuff in. Alright, I can't do anything about that yet. Check in. Oh. Can I. How much chicken can I even put in one of these? Let's figure that out. Not very many. Okay, so there'll actually be a spot to walk in between now. That's good. Okay, I... Looking at this, I feel like I'm going to need more space. I get all 16 of these. That's not that bad. Is there any other frozen stuff I need to actually put out? No. Oh. Okay. That's a bit awkward. 
I was going to put out two more freezers, but there's probably no point putting out more freezers if I'm not going to use them. Because I think that raises the power bill. I'm not even using this. No point having this. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe I should be putting these in the middle, actually. And then move this over. Wow, that still leaves a lot of room. I could actually do four more cash registers at this rate. Do I need more cash registers? I don't feel like I need more cash registers yet. I feel like the issue with them is just... Customers are slow, like, naturally. Like, I don't think I actually need to do anything else. Okay, what do I need to assign a price to? 550. 2.8. Things people have been complaining. And butter. Point nine. 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 Point five. Eleven point five. Hopefully this will stop people from complaining so much. I mean, their complaints have resulted in me raising some of my prices, so... <laughs> Who knows, they might complain more. If this was real people, they would complain infinitely more. Yeah, just like, you just hear like a collective inhale of breath from all the uh, customers that are just like waiting, just waiting to complain. Okay, should be everything priced now. Where'd the milk go? For some reason, whenever, when you say head director, all I can think of is a penis. Like a penis head, so I'm like, sure, you can see him if you want, but he's a bit of a dick. Any more milk. Okay, so I guess I can probably put 12 there.
So I can take another box of that. I can take at least two butter. I think. Now one butter. But where's butter on this? Nowhere. It is nowhere. Okay. You know, I might just carry less water. Because <laughs> water can be kind of a pain sometimes. So can milk! Okay, butter. Based on the size of the butter, I can probably keep a lot. Okay, that should be more than enough. Pizza! Okay, enough most of that stuff. Okay, drinks. I can take more cola. Or, what is this? Yes. The white cola. Not the turco. It's the generic cola. I can take more orange juice. More egg 12 packs. And more egg 8 packs. Okay, another egg 8 pack. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Four of the special type and three of the normal. Okay, and I need uh, three penne. At least three bread. Three choco pick. Uh, three spaghetti. Three red flour, two blue flour. Two elbows. Two human elbows. Take another green tea. Two susu. Three special susu. Two canola, three olive. Two coffee. Four light roast. One patate. Patate. Potato. Okay, what happened with the butter? Racks are full. What do you... Oh. You're looking at milk, that's why. Okay, where in this entire mess is butter? There. Okay, is butter going to be... Yep, yeah, butter is going to be just like salt. And take a lot of it. Anything more in here? No. All the butter I have. Okay, so I can take 14 more butter if I want. I'll just go for five. Okay, we have a lot of stuff to do with now. <laughs> 
If you get motion sick easily, look away for a second. Okay, I should be done flinging things badly. I was that full. I must have miscounted on the cheese then. Okay. We're all stocked up. Oof. Tempted to have more space for chicken. <laughs> Here. Okay. Let's call this good. And it's so big in here now that we have just all of the space. <laughs> I guess we can open this door so that they can keep working. And now we can actually work on... Painting! Okay, I probably need more... Three more buckets of paint. I kind of want to paint the storage room, too. I hate that you can't throw the paint cans. That's annoying. Actually, maybe you can box them up and throw them again. Oh. Uh, C to box, R to throw. Okay, yeah, that works. Wonder how the AI will respond to a box of paint being on the ground. Of empty paint. I wonder if they'll throw that out or if they'll just leave it there because they don't know what to do with it. There. We're going to see where it's going to be. Chez. There. So much stuff happening. You want to change the floor up a little bit, too. Hmm. Currently, I'm using floor four. Oh, floor 12 looks ugly. I'm going to try it. <laughs> oh god, that doesn't look good. Right in here. Well, 
as I imagined, it does not look good. It looks like I'm in a padded room. Maybe a toy store would fit it, but not not a grocery store. I mean, I I'm I'm not unhappy that good Alice in Wonderland reference. I'm not unhappy that there's options, but I do not like. I don't know. Okay, that doesn't work if the if the tiles aren't going to be this the right size. Cuz this is directly in the the corner. Why is this Why? That's cuz half of this tile is covered. Ah. I love this game. I really do. So I'm going to preface this by saying this, but sometimes I really hate this game. Uh I don't mind wasting some money in exchange for being able to test things. Okay, that's nice, but I don't think it's fitting for a grocery store. No. What about this? Oh, I like that. That's really cool looking. Oh, I could do the entire thing in this. That would be fun. I want to replace the this stuff. I'll do half of it in this that in um this thing that color. And I will see what happens. Oh shit, I covered over the fucking light switch again. Ugh! God damn it! There we go. Really wish I could move the light switch. Oh, right! This... Oh, God, that looks ugly. Actually, it looks kind of cool. It's, like, a very obviously that... Like, that is... This ceiling has been done improperly. But it does look kind of like clouds, which is cool. I'm not lowering soda for. Oh, okay. I'll look at what they're for, but not a huge amount. Like the, it's, it feels like the customers are getting more and more picky about prices. Far that you get into it. Okay, I need lights. At least four more. Unfortunately, I can't do that at night. So, back to whatever this is. Ooh. Also cool. Actually, I feel like this is a good color for in the storage room specifically. Like, it's... It, it doesn't feel like it should be inside a retail store. Unless it's, like, uh, 
like a tiling store or something. Like, it doesn't fit, I don't think, but... Okay, and this one's like hardwood, which is really not fitting for this. Burning off all my money. That's fine, though. I mean, that is why I was grinding money, was so that I could just spend a ton of money when we're together. All of us. But I don't mind. And it's being reinvested into the business to make it better. Okay, since I adjusted the prices, the amount of people who are complaining have gone down. <laughs> I spent $21,500 today. I'll go up to 20 cents over. That's fine. Okay. My testing floor looks atrocious. I'll look at the lights. Separate this based on which how goes where. For inside, uh, one's probably for storage room. Yeah. need two more. Please. Definitely two more of those. Alright, that goes in here. Okay, starting from here. It's like no tiles in these. Ten is nothing. It takes hundreds of dollars to do this. I mean, this part of the floor that I've done so far is at least a thousand dollars. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put this down yet. I'm going to try to use the floor if I can to, as a marker. Okay. 
basically you can't replace floor that is the same color as what you're doing, so like, you can just spam click without any worry that you'll replace it accidentally. One more of those, and a lot of those. I have everything in all the corners. Okay. How would it look to just do that? Maybe. Might do that. We'll see. I see got my boxes. Box? Oh, perfect. I can actually see what's in there. I'm gonna need that as soon as I expand this place. Okay. I wasn't actually gonna go that far. Oops. That's all fine. This is like very basic starter floor, and this is like nice floor. This is more like upscale grocer. Yeah, I think it's time to graduate from the the cheaper floor. Or the cheaper looking floor, I should say. They're the same price, I'll, but... At some point, I should also play with the, um... Oh, I love that as a board. The only problem is that the border will be an inconsistent size because of the way this room is set up. So, I don't want to actually do a border for that reason. Otherwise, I would love to, but... It just doesn't fit. Okay, let's try three. Getting there. I've spent... Spent a lot of money. <laughs> spent 20... 20 something thousand. I just spent 21,000 yesterday, so that means that I've spent a lot more than that then. Probably spent like 24,000 now. Okay, Ox. Three boxes barely made a dent. Two more boxes. Oh, that's it. I think I'm gonna still keep my entryway. There we go. Now I can see what's up there. 
And those boxes will stay in their spot, thankfully. Okay, what do I need? I need a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, three of the special cheese. Since they're con they're probably not doing anything right now, I should actually have them working. The white waters. Apple juice. Actually, I can do this more reasonably. Apple juice. Do the 14 packs. Okay, I can get some more zap. Of the eight packs of eggs. Yeah, sorting by what section it's in helps a lot when you have things organized like I do. Okay, three cheese. And just as much butter as I can fit in my cart. Okay, freezer. Four chicken and two fries. And shelf. Choco. Choco, two bread, three penne. Pasta. Red flour. Two blue flour. Uh, one brown sugar. And four light roast. Man, light roast is going fast. Two patat. And then... Milk. I think that's good. I think that's everything I need, really. Uh, two basmati and three peanut butter. There we go. Down to two thousand dollars. After making like three thousand dollars yesterday, I'm down to two thousand and starting with twenty five and a half thousand. I am down a lot. Okay, I'm gonna look away if you get motion sickness for a second. box is closest to you. Why do you have to walk all the way out here through all the boxes? Okay, I'm done swinging around. Well, more than usual. Wait, how did I end up with extra cheese? That confuses me.
Ah, whatever. Oh, they don't get rid of the flooring boxes. They just leave them. Looking really good now. I'm actually thinking of changing the wall color, maybe, though. I wish I could paint the shelves and change their color, because I'm not sure how happy I am with blue now, nowadays. Directly above me. Okay, I'm going to try to use this as a metric now. I'm going to try putting four in between. I'm going to try to put three in between. Directly up. Let's just straighten this one up a little bit. Okay, apparently if they're not straightened up, it's going to be a problem. Okay, I'm going to put three in between, so it's here. No, four in between. Okay. There. One, two, four. So one, the fifth one. One, two, three, four. Fifth one's here. Aligned with the butter pats. I thought I had four lights. There they are. I knew something was wrong. Oh, it's nice to actually have the lights spaced this time. Versus these, which are... Uh... <laughs> They're, they're, they're a thing, kind of. I'm happy I can actually space them now that I have a guide of sorts. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. One, two, three, four, and this is the fifth one. Okay. One, two, three, four, and this is the fifth one here. Two, three, four, and the fifth one here. There, they're actually aligned now. That's nice. Uh, wait, did I get my math off? What happened? Okay, the middle ones are definitely screwing me up because they're very much not in the right place. Let's take these off. Okay. 
think it's this line. No, this line. Alright, that is lined up. Okay, so that, yeah, that should be completely lined up now. Okay, well, there, okay, there's gonna be some variance because of where you are standing on the square. That's unfortunate. I'll just stand as dead center as I can. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Okay, that actually looks really nice now. I don't think this is helping me moving things around. I think it's good enough for now, and I'm just gonna call that good. Unfortunately, without a Snap 2 system, this isn't going to get better until, well, changes are made to the game. Actually, is this? No, it's good. Okay, how are my stalkers keeping up? How are my re-stalkers keeping up? I keep calling them stalkers. They are stalkers, but it sounds much worse when you call them stalkers. Anything else that is weirdly... Oh, I should expand... Oh, I should add another light in here. Actually, I mean, okay. I should add a lot more lights in here, but that's not really a priority yet. It will be. Not yet. Why is there a part box of milk? There we go. Wow, without having that big thing in the middle, it's very easy to see who is here and who isn't. Like how many, how many actual customers we have. I've taken to just doing, basically just topping off shelves with whatever boxes are not, with whatever boxes are just, are basically empty. Because they leave a lot of part boxes and then they don't go back to it for a while and then I can't fill the shelf because there's a part, there's like five thing. there's like five units on the shelf and it's supposed to be able to hold like 32. Turco, dark roast, and orange juice. Turco. 0.5. Dark. Oh, wow, that went up. What? Turco, dark roast, and orange juice. Okay. 
This is going to sound weird, but I wish this was more like real, real retail, where you only get price changes once a week. I mean, it, de it depends on your, uh, on the industry you're in, but generally. I need more space for milk. How much milk can be taken in order? Oh, is this just gonna be two packs? Oh god, they're they're sixes. But they sell at the same rate as everything else. That's not good. That actually is like a royal pain in the ass. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Put it up there. I'm gonna put the hum honeybee stuff down there. Okay. Four chicken. Wait, no. This right. Freezer. Four chicken, as usual. Hmm, wait a minute. Actually, I have an idea. Eight chicken. Come on, we can't put out one? Yes, we can. Okay, we're I don't know if we need chicken out. Not really. I wish that chickens weren't so hard to store. Most grocery stores just have, like, a big freezer, walk-in freezer. That's their solution. Basically just want the same thing in this game. Okay, 12 packs and orange juice. Okay, we need turco and cola. Both waters. Two cheese. Can I fit one in? Nope. Oh, I need potatoes. A lot of potatoes. I'll get okay, I'll get that after refrigerated stuff though. Yeah, okay, I'm good, though. Shelf! Six of those. Okay. Two bread. Chaco. Two chaki. One penne. Spaghetti. Actually, while well, this is happening, they can keep stocking and stuff while it's open. Or elbows. Or human elbow. That's never not going to be funny to me. One red flower. Two blue flower. Two 
It is very deranged to imagine selling human elbows. And deranged things are funny. Especially because it's like such a weirdly specific thing, too. Wait, which is which? Okay. Two olive oil. Three oil. I need more potato. And three more milk, apparently. And three more basmati. Okay, that's probably good for now. <laughs> giant box of stuff. Or giant pile of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna fling stuff. Ocean sickness issues. Oh! Hello. Who subscribed? Or followed? Oh, I need to actually have my Twitch stuff up. Dahlia TV, thank you for... What? Oh, okay. Dahlia TV, thank you for following. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day and you're enjoying the stream. If you feel like talking, how are you? Also, we just hit 60 followers on Twitch. That's awesome. Welcome to the community. God, I need to make a moat so that people can can give each other cat snacks. I am doing great. I got to record uh, my favorite series to record today, and that makes me very happy. After a, a short hiatus. Also, I came into this stream with $25,000 saved up in-game, so that we could just spend it all on renovations. And that's fun. Gosh darn it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Why? Stop messing up my potatoes. What are you doing? You're, oh, you're still potatoing. Wait, you have more potatoes? Where? What? Why? Do I just keep doing my math wrong or something? I don't understand how this keeps happening. Oh, come on. Okay, these are boxes of, like, eight apiece, and there's two of them here, and there's only five total items. <laughs> what are you doing, stalkers? I swear, if, if I could keep up with customers without their help, I absolutely would, because they are so freaking annoying. No! No! It... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. There. I'm feeling good about the subscriber goal. Honestly, like, I don't really pay a huge amount of attention to my followers on- my follower goals on Twitch. Just because I find they go up really quickly. Or, not- let's try that again. I find they go up really slowly, unlike YouTube, which I have- feel like I have a fair bit of control over how quickly they go up, based on the content that I put out. And that kind of just makes me feel like there's not really much of a point paying attention to the goals because they just kind of go up whenever they feel like going up rather than anything else.
What matters more to me is the actual people who are following themselves. Because I like interacting with new people, and that's... Building my community itself matters to me way more than just than the number in specific. The number doesn't really mean anything to me. Yep. At Black Hat Studio on YouTube for our... for the uh, highlight channel where the edited content goes, and at Black Cat Streams for the VODs. At Black Cat Studio is where the uh, our Dead Rising 2 playthrough is going up, and that's what I was recording today that I was very excited about. Because Dead Rising 2 is really fun. And a lot of people are actually getting the chance to experience it now that the Dead Rising remaster has come out and brought more people into into the community and given more interest to the game. Because Dead Rising 2 regularly goes on sale for $5 a piece. Uh, Dead Rising Remastered is like $80 for a remastered version of a 2010 game, which I don't think is reasonable. Also, like, I have seen the changes that they've made. Some of them are good, some are bad. It... I would. I think they could justify ten dollar price increase over the original. Not anything more than that, though. Oh, thank you for subscribing to them. Truth be told, the streams channel doesn't really get many subscriptions, just because I assume most people don't really watch stream vods as much. I love stream vods, and I watch. I watch stream vods more often than I watch highlight content, but. I know most people are different than me. I know when I used to watch you or uh, Minecraft content on YouTube, uh, and the and the YouTuber would always be like, "Oh, just uh, I'll be right back after uh, after I finish sorting my inventory," and I'm like, "No, I want to watch. <laughs> just let me watch." You sort your inventory. I want more content. <laughs> uh, where is the? There's the butter. Holy shit! We can fit like 400 butter. A lot of. There's a lot of freaking butter. I'm glad that I'm funny. I've been told that it helps. Uh, grow your Twitch channel if you're funny. Don't know why, though. You don't need to be funny or severely unfunny. But, like, in an ironic way. The day is over. Okay, the amount of products that people are upset about has gone down. So I'm glad that I've instituted like the 20 cent over rule rather than what I've been doing. Butter, olive oil, cheese. Butter, olive oil, cheese. Butter. Olive oil. Cheese. That's good. Welcome back, Ox. You're just getting lunch now? Not good, my friend. Make sure to take care of yourself. Food is the fuel that we put in our body so that we can move. Be happy. Much. Bed lunch? Is that like bedlam?
That's fair. Yeah, awkward shift times can make it awkward. Awkward shift times are awkward. I don't think I've ever heard the term bed lunch before. Is that something that just you say, or is that something that, that other people say that you've heard? I'm just curious. <laughs> okay, bed lunch is official. Wait, why did I have six in two boxes? Come on, stalkers, you're not you're not doing this right. Blunch, if you will. I mean, I've always been a fan a fan of Dunch. Dinner lunch, or Liner. And nothing can ever beat brunch. So, no joke, uh, my boyfriend was, my boyfriend it lives, lives separate from me for now, and, uh, he comes and stays for whenever he can, depending on his work schedule, and, uh, we go, we obviously we go grocery shopping so that he can have food he likes and stuff, and, uh, he got Captain Crunch for himself, and... Being that he was only here for a week that time, he was only able to eat so much of it. And, uh, Annabelle's been struggling to eat her food. She's just, like, unhappy with it, for whatever reason. Or I've been, I guess I could say I've been struggling to convince her to eat her food. And, uh, I've been giving her, like, a few pieces of Captain Crunch. <laughs> in with uh, her food, like, every day now. So now she has her Captain Crunch every morning. Very cute. Okay, freezer. Widge. Need some zap, apple, and cola. Zap, apple, cola. Apple cola sounds good. I don't know what it would taste like, but it sounds good. I've always been someone who likes sparkling, uh, like sparkling apple juice or sparkling ciders. Not like the alcoholic ones, just the, uh, just, just like what you would find at a grocery store. I am a sing uh, I am a simple kitty. I like simple pleasures. Like apple cider. Uh, growing up, there was a uh, there was a local fair that I would go to, and uh, it was always like really, really, really fucking cold because it was on a fairground, like not a fairground. It was on like I guess it was a fairground, but like the basically it was one giant open field with like a couple buildings. So, it was always blistering cold there, because it would always happen in October, and it just, without fail, like, the last weekend of October, it would just be frigid there, and everyone would be freezing their ass off who went out there. And, uh, I have fond memories, because every time we would go there, myself and my father, uh, we would get apple cider, like heat, like hot apple cider from a vendor. And like every time without fail, I remember burning my tongue because <laughs> like you want to drink it fast because A, it cools down really fast because it's like fucking frigid out. And B, it's really frigid out. So you just want to have something. 
to something so that you can be warm inside again. So you can feel that thing that's called warmth that you have since lost. Three peanut butter and honeybee. Okay, ship. Orange cider. Orange cider? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, I'm gonna start firing things into the storage room. The motion sickness warning. Oh, something I actually have been having recently, and this is not very like me because I don't usually drink. I drink maybe like three or four times a year, just like because I don't I don't like getting drunk. I genuinely detest the feeling of being tipsy. It just I find it really unpleasant. I find like basically every effect of being drunk unpleasant, or uh, with being tipsy unpleasant. I've never actually been drunk because I find being tipsy so unpleasant. Uh, but something I have had is I do like sparkling wines, and recently I got a, um, I believe it was a sparkling strawberry wine, and it was very good. I hate that alcohol has the effect of alcohol attached to it, because, like, I just like alcohol for its flavor. Other people are just like, but I can't get drunk fast enough. And I'm like, I don't want to get drunk at all. Can you just remove the drunk from my drink, please? And you could say like, yeah, like you could just drink something else, but alcohol is a very specific flavor. And if I want that specific flavor, then that's generally where you have to get it. I'm done firing stuff into the, uh, the, the storage room, by the way. Oh, did I buy the wrong cola? Darn it. Okay, there's still people doing stuff. I heard the beeping stop. Cider sounds intriguing. Probably just because I know nothing about it. No. Gosh darn it. I need to get some more water so I can that. No, there's still people shopping. Go home! I'm trying to remember what it's like to actually work retail. Just being like, it's past closing time, why are you still here? Fuck off! 
just go, just go fuck off somewhere. Like, is it beyond your ability to fuck off? Because if you're having trouble, I can help you fuck the hell off. I have a broom. Alright. Come back soon. Green tea, peanut butter. Oh my gosh, green tea, peanut butter. Sounds amazing. Just like... Green tea ice cream. What type of flavor would that be? That would be really strange. I give you specific directions on how to fuck off. Oh, yeah. That is... That is my thought on retail sometimes. Okay, I need more space for potato. God, I love... I love green tea ice cream so much. So good. Two red ones? Okay, three penne. And more human elbows. Oh, that just reminds me of, uh, um, what's that series called? There's a series on YouTube slash TikTok. Not that I, I, I hate TikTok, but, I mean, it's where, it's where the thing is, unfortunately. Uh, there's a series, I think it's just called, like, Living in a Haunted House Because It's Cheaper. Or something like that than than buying another like a normal house and it's just about this guy trying like trying to live with his family and survive being in a haunted house but also like trying to be like super positive about the house and just deal with it because it's easier to deal with that than it is to deal with having a massive mortgage for a better place and being in like crushing debt Find that one funny. Aha, lift their spirits. Aha. Okay, I need milk and cola, or milk and turco. Any cola? Like cola, cola? One cola. Okay, and I need orange juice and apple juice. Two eight packs and some zap. There is another series just like that one that uh, I I found today while just wandering the ethereal plane that is YouTube. Um, called like the Adams Family Moves to Gotham City, where it's like how the <laughs> like how the Adams Family would get along with like all the the denizens of Gotham City. It's really funny. Whatever, I'll just open. 
I never have potato. I never have potato. There's never potato. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna mix up the, the shelves a bit. Potato. On a potato. Oh, I wish the show Wednesday had been a little bit better. Like, it wasn't bad. But it also kind of left me feeling a bit... I don't know, I feel like it could have been done better. I really like the Adams Family stuff. It's, it's I don't know. There's just something about like the creepy, deranged way that they they unapologetically live their lives that is just so appealing to me. They're like, yeah, yeah, we're weird. So, actually, no, they're not even like that. They're just like, this is just the way things are. It's 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 normal. And other people are like, no, this is not normal. And they're like, nah, it's normal. <laughs> this is just how we live our lives. Do you, why do you have a problem with this? Why are you so weird? <laughs> why don't you try, try, uh, why don't you try challenging your guests to a duel? It's so weird that you don't. <laughs> No, don't, don't, don't do this. We're not doing part boxes. Everyone's goal is to have a relationship like Gomez and, Morti Gomez and Morticia. See, the thing is, it's not everyone's goal. And that confuses me. Genuinely, it does confuse me. Because, like, they have... A wonderful, loving relationship. Where they're, like, genuinely always on each other's side and, like, always on the same page and genuinely are caring people, despite what it looks like from the outside. They just have, like, their own format of doing things. I love that. I don't know what you would even call what they have. Like, I mean, it is a TV, or it is a movie, so, like, it's not, like, it's... A real thing that could necessarily be classified, but... Not Joker and Harley. Definitely not Joker and Harley. I hate Joker and Harley. Like, I love... I love Harley, and I love the Joker as, like, separate characters, but the relationship is upsetting. Mainly because, like, the Joker is an abusive piece of shit. Harley Ivy, though... They both make each other worse. <laughs> uh, four potato and three chicken. Anything else? Oh, I need more human elbows. I think it's because I keep saying human elbows that keeps making me think of the Adams Family. Yeah, 
yeah, we sell human elbows. See? They're in little blue packages. Oh, I should turn lights on. They're, they're elbow pasta. Is what they actually are. I just like calling them human elbows because it's funnier. I'm calling them elbow pasta. Pasta elbows or whatever. Okay. We need chocolate pick. Got lots of bread. The penne. And spaghetti. <coughs> oh. Speaking of things uh, to watch. Actually, I should drink water. Remember to hydrate. Oh, why are these both boxes of five? Stupid, stupid restockers. I'm not asking you to do very much. Don't leave part boxes every... That's two boxes of eight. These are boxes of eight. Oh my god, I hate... I feel... I'm filled with hate! <laughs> I'm filled with hatred for these stupid stalkers. Three stalkers. God, I, uh, ah. <laughs> I'm not, like, genuinely upset, but I am a bit frustrated with them. <laughs> you, well, here's the thing. Is if I was a real, t like an actual retail manager, I would pay a reasonable wage to justify asking for these things. Unlike normal retail, where they don't even consider what could be what you need. They're like, oh, you can just eat from the dollar store, can't you? Just go buy ramen. You don't need to eat something besides ramen. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully I would be good. The one of the biggest issues I I see in the, those certain capacities, like in let's say the capacity of of a manager, like it doesn't matter. Like I'm not, and I'm not talking specifically about anywhere I have worked or haven't worked, or I'm not I'm talking about any like specific places. I am the this this what I'm gonna say refers to like. Stuff I've heard from other people, stuff I've seen, it's just everything. Uh, but, like, one of the things that I noticed that a lot of management fails to do is that they seem to think that they're above everyone. And as soon as they think that, they've failed. Because what they actual their actual existence, the actual reason why management exists, is not to order people around, it's to organize people so that they can do their jobs most efficiently without having to think of anything else. That is the actual role of a manager. To make sure that their workers don't have to think about the bigger picture stuff and just focus on their actual task. And if someone's a good manager, that's what they'll be doing. They shouldn't be complicating things. They shouldn't be messing around with things. They shouldn't be changing up systems constantly. 
uh, at the detriment of everyone around them. E yeah, we're, we're clear here. Product's not found. Product's not found. What? I must have ran out of something the day. Maybe it ran out of olive oil? Maybe the reason why I can just, why I am so confident that that is the way that you're supposed to be as management is because I have a whole shit ton of leadership training from like a bunch of different sources in like a bunch of different time periods, or not time periods, but like different people with different philosophies who I've had the chance to learn from. That's actually one of the things that, uh, and this is gonna sound weird, because I usually, like, I fucking hated high school. High school was the dregs of existence but that is like one of the things about high school that was like one of like basically the one and only thing that was decent about high school was that if you wanted to engage in things like oh i don't know a leadership conference or something like that like like go and get those sorts of skills they would just basically pay for you to do that or at least where i am they would And it would just, like, become, like, a little certificate thing that you could have for whatever reason. But in my brain, it was just for actually learning the shit, not for the certificate. I know most people were doing it for to get a certificate for uh, college admission, but... Oh. Actually... And this is reminding me of so many different things, but, uh... This is now reminding me, so I used to, uh, I, uh, okay, so I've gone to, to school a couple times in my life, and the last, the uh, first time that I went to school, it was for child and youth work, so, like, a social worker, and I, I, re oh, that program was amazing. I remember, like, genuinely having so much fun learning in that program because they did like such a crazy good job of making all the content interesting and enjoyable to learn like they genuinely had a great grasp of what makes good teaching which is also where i learned a lot of my leadership stuff too because like there's a lot of both there's a lot of both followership so like how to do a good job following people and leadership so i mean how to lead people and there's you got a lot of training in both as part of that Human elbows. NA. Ed. Eddie. Opec. And potato. I need like one of every drink. 
Except Turco. And I need two of the white. -er. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, um, school stuff. I just, I love that program so much. That was genuinely really enjoyable. It wasn't a good fit for me as a career, which is why I ultimately dropped out of it. But for what it was, they did a good job teaching it. That was definitely something that I noticed. Plus, the campus was amazing. I was going to uh, Humber College, the Lakeshore campus. I'm not worried about saying that because there's absolutely... I have left no trace on that school. <laughs> but uh, it was... Uh, oh, that campus is fucking amazing. Right on the Humber Bay... Like, the food around there is genuinely good. It was like a very cool area that felt very different than where I was raised. So, I got to experience what felt like a lot of new things. It was also like the first time I went anywhere on my own, like... Like, not like I never left the house on my own, but like... It was the first time that I went notably far away from home on my own. For, like, something regular, like school. I wish there was some way to more effectively get stuff inside. I swear, like, actually getting products on the shelf is hard. Or actually getting products, like, into the racks is hard. Maybe I... Oh, God. This scares me because they're kind of awful, but, uh... I think I'm gonna get in the restocker. Wait, I need to purchase a ton of racks first? Rack City, bitch. Okay, do I need to replace them? Or, not replace them. Do I need to place them? Question. I need three more racks. Okay, can I... No, they need to be... It says purchase racks, but it doesn't mean purchase racks. It means place racks. Okay, there is no way I can place these racks without... Like, causing actual issues. The problem is, like, there's so many boxes to intake, and they just do not intake boxes. Like, at all, it feels like. Mainly because they're trying to stock, they're trying to stock the things outside constantly. A lot of the time when it's not even remotely needed. Okay, well, I can kind of, if I, like, squeeze things in, I can bring in another stalker. I just have to place enough of these things that it will stop being upset with me. Eh. 
Oh, on-call work sucks. Hopefully... Hopefully you don't have to deal with that. Forever. Hopefully you don't have to deal with that forever. Why can't I... That was weird. Okay, well I have a third restocker now, so we'll see if... It's actually faster, or if it's just still annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna move over all of the. Possibly another two months until you're able to get a more solid version of your position, you mean? rid of all that. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. I need more light in here. This place is way too dark. What is this? Oh, it's honeybee. Yuzu. Kind of losing track of stuff in this place. It's getting really fucking hard to see what's going on. Damn it! I keep forget. Uh, I'm s awful. Awful at remembering to take commercial breaks. And I'm really was. I was supposed to take nearly three commercial breaks by this point. Ugh. Okay. Oh, I can't order anything because it's after nine. Two potato. And three chess. Two of the twelve packs. All I can do before the this day ends. Honestly, we're doing really good right now. We got all these new freezers in. We expanded the entire store by like a third. We got all the new uh, floors in. We act we could put in new lights, and we actually made that them line up with each other now. The storage room has a bunch of new racks and an organization system. It has a new floor. Everything's looking really good. I just wish I could have, like, lights outside of some sort. Good? Yes. Product's not found one. Okay, so I managed to run out of something. Ron, your bread has changed price. Okay, pizza, bread, and water. Uh, bread, pizza, water. So, white water, I think.
Okay, we do actually need to go on a short break, though. There is... There is an actual reasonable reason why we need to take commercial breaks. So, I need to go do that. Uh, really quickly... Gonna order some stuff so they can work while I'm gone. I also have to get up. Check on the puppers. Okay, we are going to go on a quick commercial break. We'll be back in a few minutes. In the meantime, good chance to go use the washroom and such. Get water, stretch. Oh gosh. You know the drill. And we will be back in a few minutes. Okay? Okay. Here be. And we're back. Hope everyone had a chance to get up and stretch and so on. Okay. What have our people done? Why... Why is this stuff out here? What? Oh, because they're... Because uh, there's multiple part boxes here. Like, these are boxes of eight. But there's two boxes here for seven. That's the problem. The problem is that they're bad at their job. Straight up, the problem is that they're bad at their job. Oh, this one I did over... over... pack. Okay, no. Oh, you fuck off. You're causing me more trouble than you're not causing me. I did... I did buy too much penny. That one is on me. Why were they fucking around, just like sitting there, when there was a box of one item that could have gone out? Like, for a human, there would be no reason. But they're machines. They're really, like, either the AI needs to be changed so that it prioritizes emptying art boxes. Or, like, never filling with a full box if there's a part box present on a shelf. Or the shelf needs to naturally combine boxes. Because if you put a box of three and a box of five on a shelf, and it can take two boxes of eight, then... One of the solutions would be for the shelves to automatically combine those boxes into one. Okay, so what do we need? We need a potato. We need... 
two bread. Yeti. And human elbows. I have to be more careful about filling things up to the max now because it there's a much higher chance that they've just grabbed the box that I'm seeing is missing than before. Right, the bread's over here now. The racks are full in storage, you say? Have you done? Is is is? Are they full because they're full, or are they full because you're stupid? Because if they're full because you're stupid, I'm not helping you. Also, these ones are full because you're stupid, so that's a different problem. Actually, no, that's the same problem. What am I saying? Hey, okay, I need milk. I never have milk. What is going on? Did I order more milk? No. What is going on? Okay, it'd be really nice if we had a toggle between prioritized storage room and prioritized shelving. Because if they could just put things out on... If they could put things in the storage room instead of putting them on the shelf, that'd be nice. I'm gonna get 10. I'm just gonna get 60 milk. I don't care. We need more milk, desperately. We lack the milkies. Okay, what's your damage? Oh, well, okay, that's because there's not enough space for Penne. It's refreshing to see them having trouble because of a real reason and not because they're stupid. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, my venting is in good fun. Like, it's not, I'm not actually upset or anything. The mechanics aren't that bad. But they do burn me up inside a little bit. <laughs> I need 10 boxes of salt. salt. Oh, 
Also, occasionally I need actual salt, and I'm not just mad at the people. <laughs> okay. Potato. I need some just. Add one more of each just. Hey, okay, can I put these out? We're getting used to where everything is now. I'm a bit I'm a bit lost feeling. <laughs> Everything's moved around so much in the store. Okay. I could take some. Oh. Take all of it. Oh, thank gosh, I can end the day. Eight products not found. What? Okay. Chicken, elbows, orange juice, flour. Chicken, elbows, orange juice, flour. Chicken, elbows, orange juice, Who knew chickens had elbows? Har, har, har. Most farine flour, which is the good one. Okay, so I need chicken. Oh, it's the chicken that they they can't get because I'm not stocking enough of it. Oh my god, I had <laughs> had so much chicken, it's all gone. Okay, I think I I think I just genuinely need ten chickens. Oh, I need this. With that. each shelf give each oil please please stop just just fill things from the storage room don't fill things ah. don't fill things from the boxes directly fill them from the storage room that is the reason we're having trouble, is because they're filling things from, like, from outside rather than from the storage room. Because there's a part box in the storage room, and then they go fill stuff with stuff from outside the storage room, and then they put another part box in the storage room. Oh, the racks are full? I bought too much? Surprising. Oh, because... Uh, bought for it anymore, that's why. That one is genuinely my fault. Okay, well, now you have a spot for it. Have fun. Go nuts. So help me, that better not be a part box. Or that better not be a full box when there's a part box back there. Okay, there's a box of three there. You know, it is actually... They did actually use... There was only full boxes. They did actually do that one right. I'm just so ready to, to persecute them now. Because I know how awful they are. Just like, if I see one, if I could walk into the storage room and I see the same item has four part boxes in it, I will kill someone. And it will be one of you three.
Okay. This. Oh, we need more eight pack. Oh, we're out of eight pack eggs. That's why they're not stocking them. Okay, I can take six boxes of those. Three boxes of the 12 pack. And more Turk. Is there no Turco out? We're actually being smart now because all the things are filled, so anything that I'm bringing in that they need to actually stock on the shelves is only because I didn't have, like, I did not have any of it. Okay. Oh my gosh, I need so much cheese. And this game is so one more day. Just one more day. I'm gonna do one more day. Okay, why is the muffins? No, not muffins. Why is the bread not getting filled? I out of bread? Is that the problem? I'm not out of bread. I'm nowhere near out of bread. Why is the bread not being filled? I saw the box of four here and I was like, oh, so ready to get mad. Cause like, I'm so used to them to bringing back half box of fucking penne. I'm just primed to be angry now. <laughs> shelf. Okay, spaghetti. Oh, I should have some spaghetti for dinner. That sounds fun. Well, yummy. Oh, don't think fun is the right word. It's fun that I could eat spaghetti. <laughs> uh... I should get a patat. Oh. I need the chicken and two french fries. Just two single french fries, that's it. Okay, two milk, two water, two other water. Also, I've been wondering about maybe painting the inside of this room gray or something. I want something to kind of go with the floor. The shelving. I am open to suggestions. I'm going black and warm tones. So... I don't really want orange because we already because the floor is so orange. I could do like a genuine like brown, a darker brown than what we're currently using. It's also gray. I want neutrals. Or there's Adobe. Just like sandstone red clay. So let's see what Adobe looks like and what the. Uh, what Adobe looks like, what the two browns look like, and what light orange look like. Nope, that's not the right thing. Where's my paint? There it is. 
Okay. Which one is this? I think this is the dark brown. No, that's that's the light brown. This is the dark brown. What's the light brown look like? Oh, it's chocolate. It's like mocha. Cute. That... The shade doesn't feel right, though. Let's try dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with mocha actually does look kind of cool, but I don't know if it goes with the floor. Okay, then we have genuine adobe. Oh gosh, that's not adobe, that's orange. That is way, 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 way too orange. What about, like, light orange? Oh, that's like peach. I don't like any of these. So far, these ones are the ones I like the most. I do like this because then we have the, uh, we have mocha, or we have dark chocolate and mocha together. It does look nice, but it doesn't necessarily go with the floor per se. I don't know what goes Oh, what the floor? Is this? I hope this isn't mint. I hope this is light gray, and not mint. Okay, is this mint? No. No, it's not. It's just straight up white. That feels a bit too white. What if I did... I like that. See what this would look like during the full... So this is what we're looking at right now, like, dark chocolate and steel gray together. I really like that, actually. Okay. That's empty. Is that dark chocolate? That's dark chocolate. Okay, so I need a little bit more dark chocolate. Dark chocolate? Which one was dark chocolate? That would paint 27. So we're using paint 27 and paint 17 here. And I believe we're using paint 28 in the shop itself. Ah, it's nighttime. Can't order my paint. Anyone else freaking out in here? Good. Mm, oh gosh, we're running out. Uh, running out bad on coffee. But we can't buy any because it's too late at night. Oh, I'll set some for tomorrow morning. Are we done? Nope, not yet. Ok, 
Okay, we're waiting on you, my man. Okay, so we didn't have any products not found. That means that we didn't run out of anything. Okay, we're out of orange juice. Apple juice. And cola. And I'll just fill this up with butter. Okay. Paint. And I need... where's the other paint? Here it is. The rest of my dark chocolate. There we go. Okay, so we're now part dark chocolate and part steel gray. Oh no, that... 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 Bucket had more stuff in it, and my brain was just like, well, time to get rid of it. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh no, I got the wrong color, I think. Yeah, because... Oh, that's not dark chocolate. Oops. Which one of these... It's supposed to be dark chocolate. What happened here? Those are the ones I'm using. I'll put them together. Then all the paints I'm not using can go in the corner, I guess. That looks like dark chocolate itself. Okay, so now we have proper dark chocolate. So we have... We basically have chocolate milk and white milk. Is what our storage room is. I like it. And we have our wonderful flooring in here. With a bit of wood flooring coming from our storage room. And we have our mat to wipe our feet on, or so that we can wipe our paws. And should have some green tea today. I love green tea. I love tea in general. I'm a tea person. I used to be a bit of a tea snob. Not so much anymore. I don't have the money to be a tea snob right now. It's like, aha, you can have orange pico. Or orange pico. <laughs> no, you can have Twinnings orange pico, or Lipton orange pico, or Red Rose orange pico, or Tim Hortons orange pico, or Higgins and Burke. Oh. No, I would rather not drink tea than have Higgins and Burke. Okay, I'm still a bit of a snob. <laughs> I 
I have a good reason, though, for why I detest them. I detest them because their tea bags constantly break. That is not acceptable. Orange Pico itself is basically just the absence of other tea. <laughs> I don't totally remember how it's made, but I'm pretty sure that it's just not other black tea. Like it's it's I'm pretty sure it's a derivative. Need lots of lots of susu. Three of these. Give the blue flower and two penny. Two spaghetti. Choco pick and three more human elbows. And one of each tea. No. No! There's three part boxes here! There's three! This is a box of three, this is a box of five, and that's a box of five. They're boxes of eight! They're boxes of eight! Why? Why? What is wrong with you? Do you have a deficiency? A flower deficiency? <laughs> it feels like you have a flower deficiency. As in you don't understand flower. Or math. Yeah, I need three potato. Okay, these are definitely part boxes as well. Okay. Now I can go back to actually ordering things. Because things aren't out of order anymore. Nice not having them out of order. Almost take for granted that things are being done. Oh. Okay, milk. Three special cheese. Okay, and I need zap. And I need two normal cheese. Okay. I should double up on any of my exhibits. Exhibits. That's not. No part of that is. Oh, they're actually getting through this. Oh, not that. They're, they're doing a pretty decent job. I guess having three restockers helps a lot. Um, okay, I guess I'm leaving now. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I forgot this, this game had a sprint button. <laughs> oh 
Okay, so our storage room is now stocked. That is good. This is the way I like it. No more bullshit's happening, I assume. That's a dangerous assumption to make, probably. A little short flower. Another elbow, too. More human elbows. They get more bread. Perfect. Okay, before... Nope. Fuck off. Go bring the full bread in. Be a butt face. Yep, bring that in too. They're all like almost empty boxes. They can stay out here. No reason for them to be in the storage room with an item in them. Box of ten. No, box of eight. Oh, there's still there's still a box of one here. Oh, I didn't even finish filling those. Three light roast, four dark roast, and some Yeti. Don't. Don't. I will eat you! Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this, because their, their spaghetti privileges have been revoked. I don't trust them. They're gonna pick it up and bring it back into the storage room again. I feel like I'm missing a box out here still, too. Racks are full in storage, you say? Full of what? Yes, they are full of that. That's because you're not supposed to bring it in. That's because you are, in fact, at fault right now. That's why you, you're having trouble. You're having trouble because you have a self-inflicted problem. Okay, bring it in here. So I can fix your, your stupid... Surprise! There's a spot now! Okay, great. <laughs> Knew I was missing something. Stole my elbow. He stole both of my elbows! Nothing crueler than someone stealing your elbows. Okay, we have that out here. Good. That out here. Good. Other weird shit happening, I would assume. Hmm. Okay. Before I fire all of these guys and replace them with equally dumb creatures, I'm gonna call the stream here. <laughs> it's a good, uh, Oh, it's a good chance to uh, stop and stuff, because I do actually need to, you know, have food of my own. Much like, much like the spaghetti that will cause me to eat my employees, I also need to go eat spaghetti so I don't eat my employees. 
I'm sure the dogs want to say hi to me again. It's been all of 20 minutes. I'm sure, I'm sure they're excited to see me. No, it's been 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, we hit store level 40. We expanded the store. We changed the floor. We changed the order of everything. We got two new product licenses and still have a little bit of space left for more. Especially frozen stuff. We expanded the storage room, changed the storage room walls, changed the storage room floors, hired a third stalker, and now we have three idiots to contend with, instead of just two. Or if you include me. Okay, well, I I need a crook. Like, not not like a person who steals things, like a, like a, sh a shepherd's crook. Like, hit them with when they do stupid things. Which will be often. Okay. Thank you all for watching so much. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be having our Dead Rising 2 series. We'll be coming back after skipping for a weekend with episode 17 and 18, which is great. We're nearing the end of the main story, so... It's going, it's getting, it's getting real, uh, real spicy. Getting real spicy. Also, the game's getting real, uh, real a lot harder. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to put out some more stuff on the channel this week, but I've been a bit short on time. So, we'll, we'll see how that's going. I might miss a few more uploads this week on the main channel, we'll see. I finally got caught up on at Black Cat Streams with uh, the stream VODs. The stream will go up probably tomorrow on there. Actually, there's a backlog, so it might go up till Thursday. Maybe. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay, I guess I will see you all again on Thursday, since I stream Tuesday, Thursday, 2.30 p.m. EST, 5.30 p.m. EST. Thank you all for coming today. For everyone who's here and has been here, I appreciate you very much. Thank you again, Dahlia TTV, for following. And thank you all for giving me the 60 follower goal. I appreciate you very, very much. And I will see you all later. Bye-bye.